Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to Mnix Plays Path of Exile, Breach League Hardcore. Merry Christmas, everyone. Happy Holidays. Uh, I believe on the day this episode gets released, it will be Christmas. Um, and maybe it's a day past Christmas for some of you, I'm not too sure, but... You know, it's it's a time for the holidays and a time of celebration. I wasn't actually planning on recording too many episodes, uh, since you know there's gonna, well there still is. There's there's a lot of parties ahead at coming. You know, for me, um, lots of big dinners, meeting some family and all that stuff, and you know it just. Best wishes to all of you. Happy holidays. I hope you have been enjoying it so far. Uh, hope you guys have gotten some good presents. You know, if you're too old for presents, maybe you, you gave out some good presents. Or if not, you know, maybe you just went somewhere nice for your vacation. Everybody does something that's a little different today. And for us, today, we will be doing something a little different as well. Maybe? Maybe not. Need a map? Maybe, uh, I'm trying to think what I want to do today. Um, these unique monsters need to be killed. <coughs> and it really messed up last time around. Maybe it's a good time for us to go redeem ourselves. And maybe just get that done um, so we can work on other stuff later. I still want to work on the maps, but these challenges just, you know, the longer we wait, um, the more we won't want to do it. Like, we'll ju we're just going to be so tired of it. We're going to get so little EXP. Like, it won't feel worth it. So maybe we just do it now. While it's still, you know, slightly challenging. Now, we're actually level 76. Soon enough, we're going to need to think about doing the Merciless Labyrinth. Um, so that's going to be on the table as well. Maybe once we hit level 80 or so. Uh, maybe even before that. I'm not too sure. But, um... But yeah, like, you know, um, the last couple days I've been kind of going to early Christmas parties, you know. Uh, like, um, all my friends, they celebrate it with their families, but we wanted to celebrate it ourselves as well. So we had to celebrate it, you know, our, our Christmas on like a random Thursday or something like that, even though Christmas itself is on Sunday. Um, today is Saturday, so that would be Christmas Eve. Uh, gonna be having dinner with my roommates after this episode and, uh, you know, just enjoying myself. Uh, well, today for me is Christmas Eve. By the time this episode gets gets released, it's gonna be Christmas, Christmas Day, something like that. Um, the schedule, of the the release schedule was a little weird. I I had a bit of a backlog, but you know you get the point. Like it's it's, I'm excited. I like the holidays. It's Christmas is probably one of my favorite holidays. I think, um, you know, all things considered. Uh, I don't like the fact that it's cold, you know. Overall, I think summer is my favorite season. Um, and I actually really dislike winter because I just... I, I don't like the cold at all, man. Even though I'm Canadian, it's not it's not my thing. Um, but, uh... You know what? Like, the actual holidays, the actual Christmas spirit, you know? Like, I like that kind of stuff. Gift, you know, giving each other gifts and presents and eating lots of food... And, uh, you know, like, uh, big dinners, meeting family, like, that's, that's all good stuff, and, uh, I, I just, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's almost time for the New Year's, almost time to start fresh, new resolutions, uh, even though I, you know, don't normally make resolutions, and just, overall, good times, relax yourself, and just get ready for a new year, you know, um, and for us, you know, getting ready for a new year, it, it means many different things. Um, th there are some personal resolutions, but there are also some in-game resolutions as well. In the past, you know, I, I played this game without taking it too seriously. Not that I still will... Uh, I want to be careful with my w way, like, my phrasing. Um, we don't want to... How do I say this? We want to be efficient with our time. We want to enjoy the game. As much as we did before, but at the same time, we want to be better players. Um, now, there's a limit to that, you know. If we wanted to be the best player uh, and be the highest level, you know, get as far as we can on the ladder, it would involve some really meta stuff. But at the end of the day, that's not who we are either, you know. Um, 
just I just want to you know learn more about the game in general, and that might require us spending some more time in the game, which honestly I'm kind of okay with, you know. Uh, like it's it that shouldn't really be a New Year's resolution in itself. Like oh, I'm gonna spend more time playing games. That's not exactly a good resolution, and it's not exactly too beneficial to you. At the same time, I think my resolution is just I'm gonna spend more time doing the things I like. Because a lot of time, you know, when you when you start working, become an adult, you have tax, you have you know, rent to or mortgage to pay for, you have bills to pay. If you lose sight of your priorities, you know, like for example, for me, I spend a lot of time at work. Um, and although that makes me, you know, like a good worker, uh, I get a lot of stuff done, you know, I'm valued in my company and whatnot. It does mean that, you know, sometimes I don't get to spend as much time as I would like doing the things I like. You know, I come home at like 7 or 8 p.m. and I play games for two hours and eat some dinner and that's it, you know. Like, that's, the, that's my day, basically. Um, and... This year, I think I'm going to make a more concentrated effort to sort of balance my life a little bit more. Um, maybe I don't have to be a workaholic. Maybe, you know, I can I can find some balance in that. And once, you know, I myself have a family one day, hopefully, you know, that's going to be even more important. So it would be a good idea to start early with that. Um, but yeah, that's sort of my New Year's resolution. I don't know. I know New Year's isn't, you know, for another week. But uh, it was something that I've been thinking about for a while. So I thought I would get that out there. I mean, do you guys have any plans for the New Year's? If you do, you know, leave a comment and let me know. I'm curious to... Uh, I, I really like hearing from all the viewers, actually. You know, last... Uh, I think a couple episodes ago, I mentioned, you know, Oh, what does everyone eat for Christmas? And I had one viewer who was, I guess, like work... I think it was a butcher. I'm sorry. I must. I'm like I, a butcher. I'm like I might be messing this up, and I don't want this to sound insulting. He he worked with meats, <laughs> and he mentioned it's like you know in the states there's a lot of pork being served. There's not too much turkey. Sometimes there's chicken, but mostly like roasts and ribs and stuff like that. And it's really interesting to hear about that. You know, to hear about how other people do things differently, uh, how other cultures work. Not that, not to make it sound like, oh, America is such a different culture. I'm freaking Canadian. It's not too different. But, you know, even even in North America, things can be a, a little different, right? Oh, here's the freaking unique boss, by the way. Double you. It's like Orb of Regret. Orb of Fusing. That's fucking amazing from a single chest. Yo, dog. Thank you. Okay. So we're actually done here, so we can get out now. Okay, so I spend half... Do I want to do the other half of this unique ch monster challenge? I don't know if I do. It's been eight minutes, maybe I just want to save it. Holy shit. Hold on. Has the game been lagging for like the last ten minutes? I hope not. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to open up Task Manager. Apparently, my CPU is going wild. No. It should be fine. Maybe town is just really bad. What happens if I get out of town? Oh, so much better. Okay, town is really bad for CPU, apparently. I didn't realize that. Uh, you know what? We did some stuff that's outside of maps. Now let's get back into maps. I kind of want to add some balance there, you know? Doing uh, doing maps all day might not be fun, but at the same time, if we were just bumming around in Merciless without getting EXP, that's not too fun either. So let's do all of these in like small chunks. Maybe maybe let's do a Xana daily? I kind of work towards... Uh, I want to work towards my um, my challenges, though. You know what? Here's an idea. It costs a bit of currency, it costs three chances, but we can buy an unID'd Oasis map and just work towards those unID'd quests. That's something we can do relatively easily. And 
we still get good EXP. And it's something that's As sort of doable right now. Reality, okay. So, no minus max resistance. No blood magic. No reduced regen. What else could it be? What else could be bad? No curses. Beyond? No beyond. Okay, let's let's check this out first. Okay, so it's not it's not Nemesis. What's the mods here? I mean there's quite a bit of quantity and rarity, so there are quite a few mods. But I can't tell what it is. Okay, well it doesn't seem too dangerous. Maybe we have twin bosses. Now, unfortunately, the Oasis isn't part of my Atlas, I don't think. Or is it? It is! Okay, this is perfect. So we can complete more challenges on the Atlas and work towards our challenges. This is this is good. Like, work work towards the unid maps challenge. Okay, let's, let's do this breach. Let's pop Veil Haste. Oh my god, the monster packs. It's crazy here. What's going on? Why is it so dense? Oh... Like, I saw a hand over there, but I can't get to it. How do I get there? I did see a hand, right? I'm not going crazy? No, there was no hand. I'm going crazy. Oh, there is a hand. Okay, okay. Okay, that was pretty insane. But that was pretty cool too. Because of pack size. Oh, the map has 20% increased pack size and the pack size went crazy. Yo, breaches and maps are really scary then. I didn't realize it would be like that. Okay. Okay, so the pack size modifier actually affects breaches itself. I mean, after you say it, it sounds pretty obvious, but... Okay, 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 I'm down with this. I can get down with this. That was that was pretty damn dope. And you know, if we had, like, a jet... Like, wouldn't a detonate dead build be really good this league, then? Like, you just blow everything up in a breach? Wouldn't that be like really, really good? Or anything that's like percent life based? I feel like if I die, no, I, like that would be my next build or something. Something that relates to percent life damage, like dealt. Like when this enemy dies, he blows up for 10% of max HP or something like that, you know? I might do that. And there are so many builds that, d that do that, like Abyssal Cry. Occultists, or was it Necromancers? I think it's Occultist. With the blooming flower or whatever. Um, and then Gladiators can do it. Like, there's so many ways to do that. And uh, that might be a fun build to try. Let's go back and sell some stuff. This map is... Learn anything new. Has a lot of rewards, it seems. Still can't figure out what mods are here. So I'm assuming it's something like crit and like double bosses i'm really hoping for double bosses actually just so that i can uh get that challenge out of the way as well if we can kill three birds with one stone that'd be amazing we're already like you know getting the bonus objective completed on our atlas as well as doing an unidentified map in the challenge like that's that's already pretty good you know like that's the kind of stuff where it's like Okay, so maybe I'm not the best player, but I know enough to be able to, you know, do two things at once. Oh, two things at once, right? Is it double bosses? It's not double bosses. I, don't, I have no idea what this is. It's not curses. Maybe they have more HP or something, or maybe they're faster. Or maybe there just aren't that many mods, but that's not possible. 98% quantity is pretty high. Oh, but there's increased 30% quantity because of unaided.
Okay. Okay. Complete another map. That's good, though. And it was pretty easy, too. Oh. Let's move this out of the way. I don't want this. I'll take that. I'll take the bow. That's it. But yeah, like I was saying, you know, in order to get better at the game, you don't have to just be like meta. You kind of have to understand the game a lot more. Like situations like this, oh, I need to complete challenges, right? Okay, if I run this specific map, I can do three things at once. How efficient is that? Right. Or even the Atlas. Like the Atlas is one thing this league we're probably not going to work on. But it's like, oh, if I complete, you know, this this set of maps first, those are the only maps that will drop, which will give me more efficient leveling and blah, 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 right? But I don't want to be that guy who's like, I'm never going to pick up any items because that's inefficient and just not worth it. I don't want to be that guy. And even if we were to lose money over it like that, I don't want it to like affect my enjoyment of the game, you know? Oh, nice. Okay, kind of want to go back now. Glad you made it back. Okay. And an example would be uh, somebody asked me the other day, like Mnix, how do you plan on doing the encounter? Where is it? Over here. Kill a monster possessed by two tormented spirits. So, I think if you had no idea what you were doing, you kind of have to do it by luck. And by that I mean you just kind of wait it out and hopefully something gets, you know, uh, gets affected by two tormented spirits. But the other way you can do it is you can get a map, or not a map, a prophecy. I think it's called uh, Forsaken Souls or Forbidden Souls or Trapped Souls or something like that. And what it does is there's a prophecy that says all unique monsters will be, will have a tormented soul in them. Um, and there's another one where it says when a, a, a monster that has been, that has a ghost in it dies, the ghost will like run out of the monster and respawn basically. So in the, the Wrestles Grand Arena, there's an arena which has three unique monsters. So you have three unique monsters that each have a ghost. If you kill one of those unique monsters, the ghost will come out and it'll, it'll go into one of the two other ones. And just like that, you know, you'll be able to get, uh, uh, get that uh, challenge completed. So stuff like that, you know, just knowing enough about the game and know how, knowing how things synergize. That could go a long way for you, even if you if it doesn't uh, you know affect your clear speed or anything like that. So I kind of want to get to know that aspect of the game better, and in order to get into that, you kind of have to just get deeper into the game. Not necessarily play more, but just be more like ob observant when playing, you know. Sometimes when I play, I, I see things and I just go, go, oh, okay, that's a cool, unique item. And then you just forget about it. But uh, maybe, you know, just thinking about things some more, being, oh, what can I do with that item? How can it be better or whatever would be, uh, would be pretty good. Now I'm thinking, do I need more life on my totems? I would say the answer is no. So if the answer is no, what do I need more of? HP or damage? That's kind of a tough answer to that tough question to answer. Obviously it's sub subjective to what I need right now, but or stun duration. Ooh. Man, I wish I could get these so badly stun duration HP or damage okay first of all 
Let's be logical about this, okay? Stun duration wouldn't matter if I never had enough damage in the first place. So I, I eliminate that right off the bat. So do I need HP right now or do I need damage? If I get the damage node, I'll be up to around 36 or 37 to 3800 DPS. 15% extra damage, increased damage. I also have the option of going towards a jewel socket, but what's the point of that? A sick life. It gives us around 100 life. It's not great, but it's not the worst either. Getting to 4000 HP, I think I will be a lot more comfortable with that. 3800 just seems just seems really low. So this might be a better idea. I've been getting, you know, a little uncomfortable with the amount of life I have. And we've had a couple, like, a few too many close calls that, than I would like. Um, and I think having just a little bit more of a buffer would help with that. Especially since the maps are getting more and more difficult. Um, and... I find that the H like the damage they do scales faster than we can keep up with so maybe just having a decent amount of HP would it would really help man I hear sounds everywhere there's a map I think there's another one here's an arid lake my loot filter is going crazy this is a pretty good map it's good quantity it had good rarity had good monster pack size, so a lot of, you know, chances. The better pack size you have, the better it is overall. Because that means there are more sources that you can kill from and a higher chance that something's going to drop. Whether that's a map or currency or whatever, you know. Uh, it looks like we're almost done. There's only 34 monsters remaining. Still some items I can pick up. Oh, nice. Maybe this place is inhabited by undead? No, they're not all undead. Oh, superior castle channeling. That's a pretty good gem, actually. Ah, it's only 5%. Crap. Could have had so much potential. Okay. Zero bosses remaining. Whew, we're done here. That was, uh, that was pretty worth it, I think. Tell him Moana, warrior. We had a pretty easy map. We got some pretty decent drops, like, if anything, we had a decent quantity of item dropping. And we managed to complete two of our challenges, which was really good. Got quite a few maps. Was it worth the three chances it cost us to, like, buy the map in the first place? Yeah, I think so. Got a couple uh, tier three maps here. Got a tier two. Where's this go here? Got some decent currency too. That was pretty dope. Pretty dope. And I mean that sincerely. Alright. We have a lot of rings. So we should start looking at the chaos recipe soon enough. These are all a decent item level, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's the time? What's the time? It's 24 minutes. 24 minutes, honestly, I don't think it's enough for another map. So uh, let's just switch it up some more. Keep switching it up. Let's do a couple uh, of these sacrifice pieces. Let me go pick up a couple more. Why am I doing sacrifice pieces, you ask? I have to kill 10 Veil bosses, and I've only worked up to 5. So we're going to just have to keep at it until eventually we find the area we want. So this area has cold resistance, and that's it. 
Flame bearers. Gotta be careful. Man, our siege ballistas are really tanky. They don't even take too much from flame bearers. It's pretty crazy. I think with the totem this tanky, we don't really need to invest too much more into their survivability. Not until these totems actually get taunt. In which case, yeah, we're going to need to invest in them. Okay. Honestly, I think doing these Veil areas, are, it's probably my least favorite part about this challenge, so far at least. I just haven't found an easy way of doing it. Maybe if I had, you know, made a more concentrated effort on actually, uh, actually looking for Veil areas early on in the game, this could have been a little bit easier. But now I'm just like, I have no idea where the Veil areas are. And oh, I didn't even get a piece from that. Well, I do know. Like, I need to be in certain certain zones to do it. But I can't, I can't determine whether it's easier to just keep running Veil pieces over and over. Or actually grind out a certain area and look for the Veil side area. I have no idea. Maybe looking for the Veil side area is easier? I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, this area is done. Let's go for another one. And I don't know, maybe having more quantity will help, even though we're looking for a specific boss. Damn it, it's this place again. Inner grounds. This is not where we want to be. And this is the part that gets frustrating, because it's like you have to keep rolling the dice until you hit the right one. And this isn't a six-sided die, okay? There are a lot of things you can roll. At the same time, that's just Path of Exile. I mean, you're rolling for a lot of crap in this game. You're rolling for gear. You're rolling for map mods, you know. You're rolling for drops. Crafting, everything. Everything in this game is just a giant slot machine. And I've said this, I've said this many times. I don't deny it. At the same time, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's what gets me into the game in the first place. The fact that... Uh, you know, anyone it can be anything, depending on how lucky you get. This is uh, this is the world of uh, P O E Poo Pootopia. I said it. Oh god, these guys kind of hurt. When things are just bad news bears, like they do a lot of damage, I mean, this strategy is just perma stun them and sort of run away. I guess I shouldn't be too opposed of these areas because we're still getting decent EXP. Okay, maybe not. It's not significant. But it's not, like, so minuscule that we don't even see the bar moving. At least the bar moves, right? Yeah, see, it's moving. I guess it's not the worst. I was about to be like, oh, but if you die, you're going to lose so much EXP. And it wouldn't be worth it. And I'm like, no, actually, it doesn't matter. If you die, you're just dead. Welcome to Hardcore, nerd. Okay, um... Oh, Sacrifice at Midnight! Okay. It was all worth it. It was all worth it. So if you guys didn't know, Sacrifice of Midnight is the rarest Veil piece 
of the four in the set. And it is worth, I don't want to say a considerable amount, but it's worth a bit more than the other two, You're so welcome, or other three. So I think you can sell one for like maybe two of, like maybe like each piece is worth like half a chaos or maybe three pieces are worth a chaos. But the midnight itself might be worth one chaos. So any money that we lose by running veil areas, and the way we lose money is by we we run the veil area and we get one of these veil gems back, which honestly not too many people would want. I don't think. Uh, maps, maps, maps. Okay, let's run this one last time, and then we're gonna call it an episode. Kind of did a little bit of everything today. That might not be how it works in the future, but today I just kind of just kind of want to mix it up. So, uh, so here we go. Yesterday, actually, uh, or maybe two days ago, Steam went down because of the Steam sale. You know, fucking Steam sale, man. Luckily, I play on the standalone client, but on Discord, uh, a lot of people were 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 not too happy. You know. That Steam had gone down. Well, not to say not too happy. On our Discord channel, people were just like, Oh, I want to play, but I can't play. Oh, Steam is up! Praise Gaben, right? Like, fucking praise Chris Wilson. Um, which, by the way, if, you know, I, I personally feel the standalone client is so much better than Steam client. I, I haven't used that thing in years. Like, it came out on Steam, and I'm like, Oh, that's cool. But I never actually, uh, never actually committed to it. Even though it tracks, you know, the number of hours you played, which is kind of cool. Kind of embarrassing at the same time. A little shameful for me, because it's like, oh god. I'm telling people I don't play much, and then I look at how the hours played, and it's probably somewhere in the vicinity of like 3,000 or 4,000 or whatever it is. But, uh, yeah, I like the standalone client better. It just has less issues overall, I think. I don't think it's ever crept out on me or I can't play it because steam is down like that's that's never been an issue but anyways the the reason why I, oh my god I wanted to get to the subject was because it's a ste steam sale man it's a steam sale when I was a kid and I didn't have that many games the steam sale was like it's like a god given gift or something it's, it was like freaking amazing um, and the reason was just you know like typically it's hard to get games and once you have a little bit of money and you want to buy stuff, they're so expensive. But Steam sales, they just make everything better, everything right in the world. Now, obviously, you don't have those daily deals anymore, which you get, like, exclusive one-day discounts, and they're, like, pretty deep discounts. Nowadays, something. they're not as good. And for me, because I have most of the games I would want anyways, except for maybe some of the newer stuff, the Steam sales don't excite me as much. But for those of you, you know, who are, you know, pretty excited about the steam sales what are you looking forward to getting you know i i'm curious and i would like to know leave it in the comments i know there are a lot of good games out there there have been a lot of good games this year as well or i think there have did overwatch come out this year i'm not sure but there have been a lot of good games this year um and yeah if you picked up anything if you have any recommendations you know leave it in the comments and let me know if it sounds cool, I wanna I wanna be able to check it out as well, especially if I don't have it or something. Anyways, that's the end of this episode. Uh, it's a little bit of a short episode, only thirty three minutes. Partly because you know it's Christmas. Instead of watching, maybe it's uh, not not to peer pressure you, but for me, I, I need to go celebrate it with family. Um, and uh, and because uh, I I, need, I really need to go poop. Yep, I said it. Anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, as always, you can leave a like on my channel or subscribe or on this video or subscribe to my channel for more updates in the future. Otherwise, uh, keep in touch, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Merry Christmas. Mm, soon, soon.